Christiana, as we do in each of our shows, we present our Mercury Update. And this week we go to Dayton, Ohio. Let's watch. The second leg of the $20,000 Mercury Challenge Series was held under beautiful sunny skies at the Dayton Hydro Bowl on Eastwood Park Lake in Dayton, Ohio. Record-setting runs and a few spills kept the large and enthusiastic crowds on their feet as they watched 64 stock outboard racers from 13 states try to navigate the tough three-lap heats. The first-round leader in the 80-mile-an-hour D-Stock Hydro class was understandably nervous after day one as a tough competition threatened his first-place position. Well, we've got the driver that won race number one of the Mercury Challenge Series down in Ocoee, Florida, and it's D-Stock Hydro winner uh, Phil Van Sickle of Dowling, Michigan. You won your first heat yesterday. Tell us about the conditions and uh, what you've got to do today to win. i got to do a lot to win today. We've got a course that's very long, very wide, and it's going to take a lot of speed to win out here today. Here we've got a real long run to the first turn, so you're going to have to have a lot of speed build up when you hit the start line. You're going to have to be on the outside and hope you can keep the outside. Back-to-back -back wins in the two final heats by the 28-year-old real estate executive Matt D'Agostino ultimately dropped Phil into second place for the series. Matt, coming back from a flip the day before in an overnight repair job, posted two strong wins in the race. Steve Warnock of Pewaukee, Wisconsin, first-round leader in the 70-mile-an-hour 25 Superstock Hydro class, had his problems the first day but told us his strategy for the final heats. You qualified yesterday third in heat number one. Uh, tell us about how the boat handled and what problems you had yesterday. Uh, the biggest problem was just driver uh, error at the starting line. Uh, I came up a little late. Uh, Jeff Hutchins, who won the heat, uh, went across first. Mirbach, who uh, finished second, went across second. And I came across third, and that's just the way the race uh, started and finished. To set yourself up for a win, what are you going to have to do different today? Uh, push the starting line and hope we don't jump the gun. Uh, Yesterday, a lot of guys were playing conservative uh, just so they can get qualified into the finals. And then they can push the clock at the finals, take that extra chance of either jumping the gun or, or winning the race. The start proved to be the key. Steve felt his crown being snatched away as he jumped the gun in the final heat. And Jeff Hutchins of Lake Placid, Florida, a carpenter with 22 years of racing experience, skimmed into first place to win the high points in the class. Tension was high in the pit area as the crews prepared for the final heats in the 25 Superstock Runabout class. The first round was totally dominated by David DeWald of Reading, Pennsylvania, and many experienced drivers were anxious to pick him off. But a world record setting run in the first heat planted him firmly in first place. You had a record setting uh, heat number one today, uh, recording uh, a good speed. Uh, did you know you were on a record pace for the three mile course? Uh, I had hoped. I didn't really know. I know I got a good start and uh, I didn't have any trashy water to run in, so I was hoping I could do it. Well, the DeWald family very happy. David has now won two in a row. He's got two more races. This could be the new national and world champion here in 25 Superstock uh, Runabout. Congratulations, Thank David. You very much. Drivers and pit crews were already making plans for the next round of the four race series to be held in Silver Lake, New York. This is Steve Michael reporting. And from Dayton, we move to the south, back to Madison, Indiana. The rundown for the final heat and conspicuous by its absence, the 7-Eleven Turbine. We understand they have their fuel problems ironed out, but we will not see that boat again until Evansville, Indiana. There's the rundown, and we will have that final heat for you in just a moment. <laughs> 